Thanks for watching this episode of Today's Homeowner here on YouTube. And don't forget to leave us a like and a comment. And you can share with a friend if you enjoy it and subscribe so you're notified of new videos. Thanks and enjoy the show. This week on Today's Homeowner, we're helping a family give mom a shed surprise. This is way more than I ever even, I expected like a few shelves or something <laughs> in the wall, but this is great. When they retired several years ago, Ron and Dolores Krim downsized to this smaller home on a big piece of property. My grandfather had a farm and I used to love to go to the farm because it was out in the middle of nowhere. He grew tomatoes. And so now I'm sort of back to that kind of peacefulness that was um, made available to me when I was a kid. And I came down here thinking I could grow tomatoes and I really <laughs> am not doing so good with the tomatoes. And I said, just, I want a little shed out there, you know, and I wasn't expecting one that, that's really pretty. Yeah, I walked outside and I had a vision. Oh, <laughs> see, he's got <laughs> the vision. I saw a 12 by 12 shed. <laughs> we, had, we had the idea, my, my dad is a builder, you know, so he knew exactly what he wanted to do from the get-go. I think the outside is absolutely gorgeous. It's way more beautiful than I expected. Michael wanted to actually trim the windows in white. I said, well, it's not supposed to look like a house. It's just a gardening shed. I I'd like for her to be able to go in there and, first of all, be able to do achieve what she wants to do, like potting and planting. Mm -hmm. And the way it's set up now, it's dark, it's, it's dismal. It, mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't look like a place that's inviting. So I'm checking out the shed with them to see how Dolores would use it. I, I've got probably enough room here for mm -hmm. what I need to have in here, mm -hmm. except it's sort of not put where it should be, I don't think. I mean, this doesn't look like any gardening shed that ought to look. <laughs> so I would like it to be in some orderly fashion. I would like it to be um, where I could reach things easily. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can go high up, but I don't want to really reach for big sure. things higher, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Just so it's more convenient and just accessible. For not only, um, container gardening, but also oh, yeah. to get your tools to do your outside the tools gardening. tools are, yes. Okay. The wheelbarrow needs to have some help going up and down there if okay. that's something that I could do, and that'd be okay. nice. Okay. Well, talking about tools, I noticed when I walked in, you got a lot of tools here, but I also noticed, uh, uh, I guess, almost antiques here. Right. These are my dad's tools, and um, we've been lugging them around for a few years, but Wow. I don't know how old this is. Yeah, that is that great. Cool? That is cool. I'm glad you yeah. held on to those. We'll have to right. find a place for those. But we're going to need a little help. Need someone to help us with some of that uh, hammering and nailing. Any ideas on that? Yes. <laughs> Michael here is Perfect. going to be very good at helping. Oh, thanks, Mom. He's <laughs> right. throwing me under the bus. He just figured it out. <laughs> right. right now, I've got right. it. He's I got understand. the picture, right? Yes. That's fine. I love you, Mom. Okay, yes. I love yes. you, too. Yes. Love this will be fun. It'll be good work for It you. will be a lot of fun and we'll yeah. get a plan together and, and within the next two or three days I think you will really see a real useful place well, I'm here. very excited about this and thank you for doing oh, this. Oh this will be fun. This thank will be good. you. Thank you. So Mike and I immediately begin discussing ideas for improving his mom's potting shed. Let me ask you this something uh, struck me when we were talking with her. Yep. Do you think there's any way we could keep it a secret from her? 100 percent you, think, I'm a, you I, think you well, can keep her away know, from she, here no she'll be looking out the windows but okay. i'm gonna do my best okay uh, well if we can do that within a couple days yes, sir. we can have all of these things that i'm thinking about yep. put together and then we'll bring her out you oh man she's gonna be excited awesome. okay all right this is gonna be perfect i'll get um alan and chelsea out here we'll get a few things together yes, sir. and uh man we're gonna have some fun with oh this. This i know be a lot that of fun. i know well, that i can't perfect. wait when alan and chelsea arrive the ideas start gelling into a plan and then i thought just a a porch, like just a landing. Full, full length, you mean? Full length. Okay. And then she talked about that um, wheelbarrow. Right. And heck, a ramp right here. You think the tree's going to give us any problem? It'll, it'll be close. And then and then that crazy uh, wall, fold, folding wall thing. I want to see um, this. Like I said, I I never, it, yeah. I've never done it before, but it seems perfect. I, I, I because love the idea. If we cut it here, somewhere in here, and then just took this window, moved around to the other side, okay. maybe put shutters on this or something, and then some way figure out how we can open this all the way back wow. up. Wow. Yeah. And then all the tools will be there. So they'll, they'll be on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Show me again where you're talking about. Right right oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right there. So. <laughs> I saw that. In theory, 
Let me stress that. In theory, it's a good idea. I like it. I've never done it before. That was real funny. <laughs> so anyway, um, Chelsea, you need to think about the potting bench yeah, inside have something some, uh, that's practical idea. that mm -hmm. makes sense, and then simplicity in there, yeah. and then something that we're going to do with those with our father's tools. Okay. Yeah. But in addition to those keepsake tools, there's a lot of other stuff that needs to come out of the shed before we can get started. Look at that. That's from when Mikey was a little. <laughs> Can we get a picture of you posing in that? Yeah. yeah. You've heard the saying, the dog ate my homework? Well, this is the case of the dog ate my porch trailing. A couple of puppies were out here, and they had gnawed partly through this bottom rail of the porch trailing. So I'm going to repair it using one of Danny's favorite products, Auto Body Filler. I started by cutting two plywood forms one to fit underneath and one to fit on top of the rail. And this one I had a notch to fit around these two balusters. Then I lined them with paper, painter's tape so they wouldn't stick in place. And I just clamped them, making sure they were perfectly flush with the face of the rail. That's really important. Held them in place with two clamps. Then I took the auto body filler and mixed it according to the directions. And I applied it to the front of this rail using a plastic putty knife. Now it's been about 35, 40 minutes. It's, it's hard, so I can take off the forms. I'm going to pop off the clamps, remove the plywood. There's that painter's tape I was talking about earlier. And you can see, you can clearly see how the putty filled in. This was all rotted away, same thing on the bottom, it filled it in. And because the forms were flush, you got a nice square edge, like a brand new piece of wood. Now I'm just going to sand it with 100 grit sandpaper, prime it and paint it. You'll never know that patch was even made. Dolores is an avid gardener, so her husband and son built her this shed. But the project stalled once the walls were up, so we're about to change all of that. The first step is removing the small landing outside the door so we can build a bigger, better porch and ramp for the shed. Oh, hold that right there. Just flip it over for a second. Or just let me crown it. As a retired contractor, Ron Kent seemed to resist stepping back into the superintendent's role. You just feel somebody watching you. It's Ron. By adding a more substantial porch to the shed, we're immediately making it seem more like a destination than an afterthought. Next, we'll add a ramp to improve the access to the inside. You know, just building a simple ramp like this is going to make this garden shed so much more functional. Just think about being able to bring the wheelbarrow in and bring it out without any hesitation at all. This should work really well. Because it's simple and so close to the ground, the deck and ramp go really quickly. And by the end of the first day, they're both complete. So at the start of day two, we can tackle my hinged wall. Do you know how you're going to do this yet? I think. Um, why don't you start on the window? Okay. While he starts removing the window trim, I begin cutting the siding where the wall will open. Well, that's a good example of an old retired carpenter that's got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. 35 nails. In one window. In one window. I would venture to say we will probably not put that many back in when we put it back in, so. 34? The, the thir we'll go to down to 32. <laughs> Ron, good job. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Here, take your window. All right, I'm anxious to see how you're going to make a piece of furniture fit in a potting shed. Okay, well, I'm going to paint it so it'll be a different color, so that really changes the look of it. Okay. And I'm thinking about cutting the top out right here so she can set mm -hmm. a pot in place so it's a little bit lower. She doesn't have yeah, to lift bring it, it down as high. Yeah. What, but what did this cost? It was $40 at a thrift store, so I don't think that's too bad. I, I think it, the materials would have cost that much to build a regular exactly. you know, potting bench. Exactly. So. While Alan begins framing for the new window location, I'm continuing to cut the wall section loose from the building. When Mike returns, he jumps in to help Alan with cutting out the opening for the new window. I'm not sure where he's cutting, but it's going to the east and to the west. I missed that by just a little bit. It's just a simple square, Mike. Come on, dude, one square. Eventually, they get the window in place and trim it out while I begin to remove the siding where we will open up the wall. Then, Alan and Mike move inside to begin installing the cedar plywood ceiling. 
All right, getting set up for a cut, I see. Yes, I have the first one marked, and actually I decided to move my middle cut all the way over here and give her double the potting surface. And have that whole area drop down? Yeah. You gonna be able to do that? Yeah, I might need you to cut this part, though, the sideways cut. Oh, that's gonna look pretty good. So you have equal spots on either side, the middle part drop down. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. You sure you wanna do that? Yes, are you sure? Uh, I don't know. You can watch and not do the work? Okay. And the dad comes along and kind of takes over my project, even though he had plenty going on on the shed itself. What can I say? I'm a little uneasy watching my pregnant daughter use power tools, so I convince her to let me help. Okay, you are taking over all the fun of my project and making a mess. Granted, I don't have as much experience with power tools as dad, but I don't think they're supposed to smoke like this. I really hope he doesn't set my furniture on fire. Do we need a new blade? For my birthday, could you get me a new blade? I'll get you one now. Okay. Before long, I'm ready to let Chelsea have her potting bench back. After all, she handles this kind of project all the time on her own web show, Checking In With Chelsea. Besides, I've got a new idea for the ceiling Alan's working on. Okay, we're trying to display Dolores's father's old tools. Right. What if we take these 12 inch pieces, oh. just like that, all the way around the room, and we can put a shovel here, a rake here, whatever, and it can go all the way around. She's not gonna use them anyway. I like that, I mean, that looks good too. And it's up out of the way. Plus, it, it, it covers all the hurricane straps too. Yeah, uh-huh. These panels go up quickly, and before long, we're back to the moving wall. Making the rest of the cuts is easy enough, but getting this thing to come loose is a little more tricky, especially with Ron's constant supervision. Now that we have it free, we have to hinge it so that it can open and close. You know, I think Ron's a little skeptical about everything we're doing with this wall section. Uh, just not sure he believes it's really gonna work. Well, I've never done it before, so we'll see pretty soon. You know, I do get asked, Jody, why do you highlight professional grade tools on Best New Products when the bulk of your audience are just DIYers? And it's not that I'm trying to get you to spend more money or make you buy something that you don't need, but when I do see something that I think you're really gonna like and it's gonna last a long time, I wanna talk to you about it. This is definitely one of those. This is the Milwaukee Shockwave Bit Kit. Now, when you open it up, it doesn't look any different than any other bit kit because you still have about 35 bits in here that can be either be used for, say, a torque, a square, or even a Phillips head. Uh, but the difference that I wanna show you is this area right here. All the bits have this red zone, which is called their shock zone. And what this does, it allows the bit to flex not only with the drill but also with the fastener so that when you're making your connection into the wood, if it wobbles, it's still going to get a nice quick connection. Now this is um, alloy steel so it's going to be very strong. You get 30 times more life with this bit and again, it's going to be a professional grade so you know it's going to hold up over time. So if you're looking to upgrade your bit kit to a professional one, look no further than the Shockwave. The shed we're customizing for Dolores is really starting to take shape, but she doesn't know that because we're keeping her out of the loop, so the outcome will be a surprise. Hey, how's everything going over there? Good. Am I going to like it? Yes, you are. We've already completed the ramp on the outside and the new ceiling on the inside, plus Ron, Mike, and Jamie have been busy painting to brighten up the shed. So Mike asked me before he bought the paint if I thought yellow would be a good color. And in my mind, I was thinking of pale yellow and I was like, that'd be perfect. When I got there the next day, it was very yellow. I hope Dolores likes yellow. But the biggest change is the movable wall we've been creating to open up the building to the outside. Is this gonna work, Ron? Well, I think it will. And we're finally ready to put it in place. Yeah, we got it. We got it here. What's this wheat? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now that it's working, we have to get busy to make it look good again. Meanwhile, Chelsea has finished the modifications to convert her salvage entertainment center into a potting bench. Now she's painting it. There's a lot of projects I can't take on that involve ladders and carrying heavy things while I'm pregnant, but being able to paint with a heavy duty respirator, that's no problem. Got it? Yep. 
You know, we could have just bought another piece of siding and put over this, but we thought by doing it this way, we save on the siding, even though we bought a couple of real inexpensive vinyl shutters that we're just putting in place. It will look like a fake window, but it'll add just a little bit of character to this side of the building. Things going to look pretty good. Once the outside of the shed is complete, we can turn our attention to making the inside more functional as a garden shed for Dolores. So we always have gutter spikes around, so we use them all the time. I thought it would be perfect not only to hang one shovel, but to be able to make it deep enough to be able to hang two or three shovels. So I think she'll get a lot of use out of it. Plus, they're aluminum. They're not going to rust. Once we finish hanging all of the new garden tools, we're finally ready to display the old ones that belong to Dolores' father. You think my sisters are going to fight me for your old tools? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going anywhere, am I? I no. But when, you, when you're ready to hand them down, I'll get my display ready for them. You got wire cutters? OK. Mm -hmm. That was easier than I thought it would be. All right, what are you going to do? Put this, do you need just one? Uh, no, I'll do two. Is it easy to get your hand up in there? Yep, that one was. Because one suggestion would be to do it the other way, but that looks pretty good. There we go. Awesome. One up. Uh, How many more have we got? Seven to go. Seven. These old tools will hopefully fill this shed with some happy memories for Dolores, but she also wants to get some work done in here, so we're stocking it up with everything imaginable to make it a productive space. And Chelsea's making sure to add a few feminine touches that will make the space uniquely Dolores's. Once we add the final touch, it's time to reveal the results. Oh my goodness, look at my ramp. I don't have to carry my wheelbarrow <laughs> up into the shed. It's a little shed. bit different. <gasps> Okay, come in and look around. Oh, it looks beautiful. It has color in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look. Oh, there's the... Oh my goodness, that is so cool. And, and you still can, you know, take them down if you ever want to use them for anything. Oh my goodness, those are my dance <laughs> things. How beautiful. It's just mounted up there. Look at this. That didn't uh -huh. have a window there. No, you didn't have a window there. <laughs> I didn't have a window there. How about that? And uh, then our friends at Ames provided you a few tools to make it a little easier. Oh my goodness, that's quite a few tools. Yeah. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Oh, is that beautiful? Something that's kind of neat, you know, um, when you're uh, needing some tools, uh -huh. you'll be able to get to the tools from the inside, of course, uh -huh. or also. Oh, that's what that outside thing was about. You will oh, be able to come right out that's here. Beautiful. And that way you can come right up and grab whatever you need here. Well, that's what I, I needed convenience, and I got convenience. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, my goodness. That is so good. And also, by opening this up, you're going to be able to get plenty of breeze in, that kind of thing, to keep it nice and cool. So. Oh, how wonderful. This is way more than I ever even, I expected, like, a few shelves or something in the wall. But this is great. Dolores' family built the shed to make her gardening hobby more enjoyable, but it was just an empty box that quickly filled up with stuff. Some needed for gardening and some not. By starting over, we were able to redesign it for just the purpose it was intended. The ramp and porch give her better access to the inside, which is well organized with the things she needs for gardening, including the custom potting bench that Chelsea repurposed from an old piece of furniture. And the antique tools mounted on the walls add just a touch of rustic decor with lots of sentimental value. Plus, the whole thing now opens up to the outside that Dolores loves so much, while it gives her even better access to her tools. The big surprise was that, I mean, it's like a little room. It is that pretty. It's that nice. And I did not expect that. I thought it would be very much industrial rather than kind of, it's kind of feminine in there, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of is. I mean, I love my dad's tools up there. That is a beautiful decoration. That's a great idea. Well, I was just thankful that you guys came out and, uh, and did what you did for her. I really appreciate that. All I had to do was just watch them. They just did a beautiful job. So pretty. I'm still smiling. <laughs> What a great project this was, to be able to help someone like Dolores 
with her hobby that's quite a passion. And why shouldn't it be? People are finding out so much about gardening and how it can really enhance the look of the outside of your home, the inside of your home, and even put a little food on the table. And it was really special to be able to have the family join in. Jamie and Mike helping out a lot. And of course, Ron, the husband, providing all of that really important supervision. I hope we've been able to help give you some ideas if you're the gardener in your home. I'm Danny Lipford. Thanks so much for being with us right here in today's homeowner. Do you see where this is coming right now? Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Today's Homeowner. And don't forget to comment, like, and hit the bell icon so that we can notify you when new videos are posted. And don't go anywhere. Click around and continue the home improving fun.